All right, this is lesson uh, nine or day nine for algebra two, dividing polynomials with missing terms. We're going to look at three things today. We're going to look at how to organize it when we have to skip degrees. We're going to also look at uh, cleaning it up. Sometimes the problems are not cleaned up. And we're also going to look at a uh, divisor with a coefficient. So first thing is this slide here, skipping degrees. So sometimes the polynomials aren't given in um, perfect descending order. Sometimes they skip a degree or they skip a uh, exponent. So, for example, the we look at the first uh, polynomial. This has x squared. It's it's a polynomial to the degree of two, um, so or to the second degree. So when we divide, we want to start off with the highest degree. So it's x squared. And then we do descending order. So we want something that says x to the first, but there's nothing that says x to the first here. So what you end up having to do is having to add a place marker of x to the first into the uh, into your expression here. And then next one is x to the zero. x to the zero is one, or it's just really we're looking at constants. So there's a plus three here. So we we basically the the premise of uh, of this part of the lesson is just to have this place marker here. So. We want to make sure there's x to the first. Now we look at the divisor, x minus 1. It's to the first degree here, as you can see. So since it's to the first degree, we want to um, start off with x to the first, or just x minus 1. So just like the division problems you learned in the last lesson, we ask ourselves, what do I multiply x to get x squared? And of course, you get x. x times x is x squared, x times negative 1 is negative 1x. Put parentheses around the whole thing, subtract. x squared minus x squared is 0. 0, uh, zero x to the first minus negative 1x is actually positive x or positive 1x. Bring down the plus 3. Okay. Then we have, what do I multiply x with to get x here? We multiply it by a positive 1. So 1 times x is x. And 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Subtract. We get x minus x is 0. 3 minus negative 1 is positive 4. Now, I can't do anything else. I can't multiply x with anything to get positive 4 here. So what ends up happening is we need to um, just uh, leave that as a remainder. So we write down our answer, x plus 1 plus, now a fraction, so 4 um, over the divisor x minus 1 is your answer. Okay, continuing onward. So, skipping degrees, uh, you could apply the same concepts here. Um, the next part of the lesson is cleaning it up. So, looking at this one, x to the fourth minus 6x cubed minus 3 divided by x minus 6. This probably isn't as be the best example. Let's actually do another example here. Let's go to an example, too. I think I like that one better. Yeah, and I'm actually going to change it even more. So let's just pretend, sorry about that, let's pretend that it actually said negative um, 25x plus 5x squared, all of that divided by negative um, 5 plus x, okay? So now this one's different from before because this one obviously is out of order, right? So since it's obviously out of order, we need to put it in order. So starting with the first polynomial, you need to you would notice that over here it shows that uh, there's a polynomial with the in the second degree. So we know x squared is the largest. So we want to start off with writing 5x squared, and we look at the sign in front. We see it's positive, so we might want to make sure that this number here we write is positive inside of our division sign. Okay, so since it's positive, we can assume that's positive. Then we look at the next descending order. x squared is the first one, so the next one should be x to the first, which would be this term here. And this term is negative 25x, not just 25x, but negative 25x. Okay, And we're done with this part. Now, we could also put a place mark for a constant here, and I would just recommend doing that anyways, just so it's there. Okay, Not a big deal. You could add 0 to anything. It won't add anything or subtract anything. Next, we look at the divisor. We want to pick the largest 
or the largest exponent that's there, that's x to the first. So we want to write down x to the first. Looking at the sign in the front, we know it's positive, right? So we could leave that as x. And then the next term, the constant is minus 5. So put that right here, minus 5. Okay, so continuing onward. We just do this like normal. What, how many times do you multiply x to get 5x squared? You multiply it by 5x. 5x times x is 5x squared. 5x times negative 5 is negative 25x. Subtract. Now, this is the same uh, expression as above, less the plus 0. So when I do that, I get 0. And if I bring down a 0 again, well, there's no remainder, really. So if I were to ask myself how many times is x, what do I multiply x with to get 0? It's just we're adding 0. So we're basically done. When the remainder is 0, you're done. So the answer to this example is 5x. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a step back. Let's just pretend that instead of 0 here, it said actually 5. Well, then at this point, you would have a remainder of 5, right, down here. So if that was the case, sorry about that. If that was the case, then we would want to add the plus 5 over x minus 5 at this point because we, we couldn't really multiply anything to get, um, we couldn't multiply x with anything to get 5 as my answer. But that's not the case in this example. The example actually is 0 um, as a remainder. Continuing onward. Here's another example you could do um, that shows descending exponents. Now, the third thing we want to look at is the divisor with a co coefficient. So in most of our examples we've done now, so far, you see that it says um, there's usually no, no coefficient in front of that, the divisor. Um, usually it's like blank like that. It usually says like b plus 1, right? So... But in this case, there's going to be, we have a coefficient of 2. So the same rules apply. We look at the first polynomial. What's the degree it's in? Well, it's in the third degree. That's the largest exponent. It has to be in descending order. It looks like it already is, and there's no constant. So let's just uh, move forward. Let's see what happens with this one. So first thing you do is set up your division problem. So d 2b cubed minus 5b squared minus 3b, okay? And we're gonna add, I'll add a place marker for the zero just in case I need to have it there. You don't need to put it there. It's just nice to have, in my opinion. Then we have 2b plus 1 as, as the divisor. The divisor is already um, in descending order. b to the first is the largest. Um, so now, if it said b to the third, then you would have to write 2b to the third plus 0b squared, adding a place marker plus 0b to the first, and so forth, right? But that's not the case here. Um, and so you just write 2b plus 1. But if that was the case, you would have to mark that out. Okay, and just like before, you multiply it out. What do I multiply 2b with to get 2b cubed? Well, you, you multiply by b squared b squared times 2b is 2b squared. b squared times 1 is positive b squared. Okay. Subtract this. You get 2b cubed minus 2b. Ooh, it's supposed to say cubed here. I'm not sure what I wrote, why I wrote that. 2b cubed minus 2b cubed is 0. Negative 5b squared minus b squared is going to be minus 6b squared. Bring down the next term, which is negative 3b. Next thing I ask, how many times do I multiply 2b to get negative 6b squared? I multiply it by negative 3b times. Negative 3b times 2b is going to be negative 6b squared. Okay, and negative 3b times 1 is going to be uh, negative 3b. Now, this is the same expression as the one right above it. This is the same one as this one, so we could subtract and we know it's going to be 0. Now, again, there's no remainder here, so since there's no remainder, uh, we stop there. So our answer is going to be b squared minus 3b, okay? And you could use this example, try this one out um, on your own. You should have a nice, clean answer if you do this one. And that's the end of the lesson.